Shalom and welcome to today's edition of Rabbi Ron in the House. Here we are in my home and this is a temple or a tabernacle of God. It is a place where God dwells and lives and we meet with God. But it is not like our temple, our congregation or church where we gather together as a community. If I were to try to make this home, this temple, into a temple, a congregation, a synagogue like that, I can promise you from personal experience that code enforcement would step in, City Hall would step in and say, no, you cannot do that. This house was not built with that in mind. This neighborhood was not built with that in mind, and it would not work. But as I was thinking, Tico, the Tampa Electric Company, they might like the idea. Because in this week's Parsha, in the scriptures, God told Moses that in the holy place, they were to burn a light continually. The Hebrew words for light continually are ner tamid, the name of our ministry, ner tamid, eternal lights, another way to translate that. Now, God was very practical. They had no light, and they needed to have some light. And so he told them to burn some oil so that they would have light. Now, here in our house, we have light too. And so God wants to have light. He wants to have light so we're not in darkness and don't get hurt. But as well, the rabbis put it very nicely in my commentary. They said here that the rabbis interpret this eternal light, this Ner Tamid, as a symbol of Israel whose mission it was to become a light to the nations. Unfortunately, Israel, from my experience, they have forgotten this mission. They have forgotten it, they have ignored it, whatever it is, they no longer try to even fulfill this mission. Our mission was not just to draw close to God and enjoy Him and keep Him to ourselves, but our mission was to bring His light to the nations, to let everybody know about the goodness of God. That is our mission. And so when Rabbi Steve created Nair Tamid, he wrote our mission is to proclaim Messiah's light on college campuses. That's where we focus, on the college campus. And so our goal is to get out there on the college campus to find students, to meet with students, and to help them bring God's light to their college campus. Well, how do we bring God's light? One, if we're here in the house, what do we have? We have light switches. And so either you turn the switch up and down or you've got these round ones. And here, if we turn around, we look and see that after you push the button, you can turn it and bring the light down or back up. And so we have light switches to turn on the light. In the temple, the tabernacle, they didn't have light switches. As I mentioned, God gave them oil to produce light. Well, in teachings, in biblical teachings, oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit, of God's Holy Spirit. And the scriptures tell us that when you trust in Messiah, God's Spirit comes and lives inside of you. So step number one, if you want to be a light on your campus, the very first thing you've got to do is put your faith and trust in Messiah. If you do that, when you do that, God's Spirit will come and live within you, and God is light, and His light will now be inside of you. Now the question is, how do you get the light out? You don't have a switch to turn on and off. And so we have to allow God's light to work. We know that sin hinders our relationship with God. Sin dirties our filter, and it prevents God's light from shining brightly. As we saw when I played with the light switch, it could be very bright, or barely shining and be very dim. And, and, and so therefore, sin makes things dirty and causes that light to be dim. And so our first goal is to help you to walk with God in a right way, according to the scriptures, to help you to do that, so that therefore God's light is free to shine forth from you. The other thing is to help encourage you to share that light with your friends, to provide meetings and opportunities to do this on your college campus. If you are a student on a college campus, I want to encourage you to connect with us so that we can start a Nair Tommy group on your college campus. At the end of this video, there will be a credit that says to contact Rabbi Ron, and then it has my email address. I want to encourage you, if you are a student, get on there and email me. 
get down this email address and contact me and say, Rabbi Ron, I am a student at such and such college, and we would love to start an airtime meet. Would you help us? And we'll write you back and talk to you and try to encourage you and help you to do that. The other thing, something very simple, whether you're a college student, an adult, a high school student, whoever you are, there's one thing you can do to shine your little light right now, to shine God's light right now. Underneath this picture, there is a comment box, both on Facebook and as well somewhere there on YouTube, you can make a comment. And I would like to ask you, just take a few seconds and go ahead and write, I am a Nair Tamid. Share that comment in there. And let your friends all over Facebook see that you are a Nair Tamid and Eternal Light. It will encourage us that you have checked out our video that you saw today. And it will be a testimony for your friends on Facebook to see that you are a Nair Tamid and Eternal Life. Light. Well, thanks for joining us. This has been Rabbi Ron in the house.